From day one, my mission was to inspire, to take what I've learned and ignite a fire, to research an obscure yet phenomenal figure or event and create a performance that would truly represent the success that my predecessors so diligently attained and paved the way for so many that greatness may be gained. My name is Sincere Wulu, a junior at the University of Delaware and a student of Black History Live on stage. And today I will be educating you on my obscure yet profoundly phenomenal figure, Mrs. Helen Octavia Dickens. Many people don't know my name or how I acquired my small but notable fame. I am not mentioned in the blogs or news or have docu-series with raving reviews. However, what I have done is quite profound. I was the first African-American gynecologist around. The road to success was far from easy. In fact, many days I wondered if this was my path, you see. From poverty in my community and racism in the schools, I persevered and pushed forward even if I defied the rules. See, I was the only black female in my graduating class, and I was determined to create a legacy that would last. Breaking stereotypes one by one, I was still not satisfied with the work that I had done. Although I had gotten my medical degree, this still wasn't enough to set my community free. When I looked around, I saw a dire need. A safe way to deliver babies had to be guaranteed. Women dying from cervical cancer and battling sexually transmitted diseases, and I could not stand by and watch as their bodies deteriorated into pieces. So I got my master's in obstetrics and gynecology from UPenn. Finally, I was able to be a true vessel in my community again. Now here is a lesson to learn and one to never forget. Live your life unapologetically and one without regret. There will always be people that want to dull your light, but it is up to you to put up a good fight. The road will not be easy. In fact, it may be hard. Don't be discouraged. People will look to you in high regard. Now, when you think of medicine, I hope you think of me and the path I paved that where I am, others may be. As a woman with ambition and her community on her mind that searched high and low for the resources they claimed they couldn't find. My name is Helen Octavia Dickens. Let me remind you that you may take this story and inspire someone else too.